Well, the big pilchards have moved back in. So I'm gonna net a few of them. There's a big school running around here. Just gotta find it. I spooked them out on the way in, but was not prepared. There's some. Here they are. You can see how many, there's some big chunkers in here. But I should have got a bunch. I don't want a lot of biggies. Yeah, there's some chunkers in there. That dude's stuck. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, here we are looking for that edge. So we're up on the flats basically. 10, 11 foot. There's that 13. There's that drop off. So it just goes here and then starts plummeting down. And there actually will be another drop off. down to 20 there it is and then it'll start flattening out about 21 22 so there's that 21 and then it's going to start flattening off so we're going to want to try to sit so we're around that edge right there all right doing our pass not the nicest of conditions out here but not really cold so here we're gonna slow down and that's it right there that 20 right at the base of the drop-off then I got to see how the wind and the current is gonna blow me Swing us around. And this will give us our first shot. Um, I'm a little bit outside the edge on the flats, which is fine. It's really dependent on where the chum is going. I want to make sure that chum runs right along that edge and pulls everything down current or whichever way it's going to go. I have no clue. So let's drop that and see what happens. I guess I'll go over what we're doing today. Um, so you can see it's a bit of an overcast and gloomy day. There's the sun trying to pop out. Uh, it's right around 70, low 70s today. So that temperature range came up. Got winds coming out of the northeast, east, blowing about uh, 10 to 15 with gusts. So it's a little choppy out here, but not too bad because I'm very close to inshore. So a couple hundred yards from shore. I'm right off that edge as you saw in the fish finder right where it goes from the flats down to 15 and then 15 that drop off to 22. Uh, got the anchor out, got the chum out. Stopped by earlier, picked up some uh, nice premium quality pilchards. I got uh, smalls, medium, larges and a few jumbos to mix things up. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do some fun fishing out here, see what's around. Bite was a little slow yesterday, but like I said, it'll take a couple of days for the temperatures of the waters to, to come back up and then for the fish to follow. So got a little lag time. And then after that, we'll have two, three, four days of uh, decent fishing quality time before the next uh, storm front comes through. So that is the plan today. I'm gonna do one top line and then I've got a knocker rig for the bottom line. And uh, we're gonna test this chum spot out. It seems to be drifting uh, fairly east to west. I might move in probably 20 feet so that I'm right on that edge and making sure that chum is attracting everything off of there. But uh, otherwise, let's get some catching. 
All right, let's see if we can drop down a little bit bigger pilchard. That'll increase the size of fish that we pick up. I've been wanting to bring a uh, pinfish out here. I think will do really well. Cut down on all these smaller lanes. Maybe pick up some other species. There it goes, getting messed with. This should be something better. I can keep them stuck on. Stay on! Don't get eaten and get stay on. Stay on. Ah, oh, nice one. Looks like a mutton. Yup. Not quite there, but not too bad. Stop, 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 stop. There you go, that's a nice colorful mutton there. Eating well, nice and fat, pretty colors. And you can tell that it's a mutton versus a lane because of this squared off anal fin there. Really red color, wow. And real, there we go. Took a little while to get him hooked up. Let him eat. Let's see if we can get him up without losing them. What do we got? Ah, oh, nice lane. That's a good one. That's finally a nice one. Knew that to be around. Oh, oh, oh. And what we we're talking about with the mutton, so I mean, you can see this anal fin here has the rounded, where the uh, muttons have a more of a squared off pointy. And then you can tell with the yellow spots on the lanes. It does have a spot, but it's not as distinct as the uh, muttons. But that red tail makes it look very similar. All we're doing, just got the knocker rig. Flicking it out a bit. Cause you gotta figure the chump starts up here and then it starts slowly descending. So, although some fish will be coming up to the top to eat it, a lot of the bottom fish are pretty far back waiting for that chum to settle. Then uh, open bail, not even really holding the line. I'm just laying it on my fingers and that's uh, keeping it from running out at all. And then that way, if anything takes it, it won't feel any pressure at all. All right, I think we've got a victim on our line there. Not sure if it's holding on to it. Nope, just pulled it off it looks like. Uh, there we go, came back for it. Uh, not very big. Oh, oh. Top line got hit. That's what I'm more interested in. I got a pretty big pilchard on that one. That's another lane. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's running. Now we got him. There we go. Stopped them at least. Got a lot of line on me. 
got a little bit of trace of wire on there so it could run if it wants to doesn't seem like a shark usually who knows though it made a weird couple of runs hopefully it's some sort of mackerel that's what we're targeting up on the top made some pretty good runs could be a tiny black tip oh looks like we have ballyhoo over there they were jumping this is doing like that other fish did and going right up the current let's see what you are oh that weight from that boat that just went by is finally catching up now it's feeling sharkish oh stay out of that anchor line ah stupid brave sharks shark week 2018 although i haven't caught a shark in a while so there you go Turn the other way. Turn around. Don't kick. You're going to kick, aren't you? There it goes. Get that death grip upside down. Whoa, whoa. Don't bite the knee. Oh, nice one. Tail. Man, getting all the species today. <laughs> Inshore yellowtails. All right, well, the bite's been all right. I've been keeping busy going through those pilchards and picking up a bunch of different snappers. I've actually got a mutton snapper, a bunch of lane snappers, got that yellow tail. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into uh, along the mangroves and see if I can pick up a mangrove snapper and then have a snapper grand slam. <laughs> um, really what I'm out here looking for is the mackerel bite to see if I can get uh, either the Cerro Spanish Kings to start showing up closer in shore. But uh, no real action. Got that shark. Had a couple bite offs. but. I would see them busting on, um, it looks like I've got ballyhoo back in my uh, chum spread, but uh, when they show up, they'll be chasing those around and you'll see those uh, ballyhoo just skirting up and blowing up. So it's just not happening. So I'm just testing it every once in a while to see if they show up, uh, but nothing today. So I think I'm going to head in and see if I can catch a mangrove snapper. We are tucked in here in the mangroves right on the outlet to Geiger Key. Uh, gonna try to pull off my uh, Grand Slam. Just need one mangrove snapper. So I put the chum bag out to kind of speed things up. Hopefully I'll pull everything out from underneath there. And then I've got my pilchards here to hopefully uh, pull one out. So see if we can get one mangrove snapper. I think we can do this. Taking it, take it, take it. Ah, oh, did they take it? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I think we got our mangrove. Hopefully that's not a jack. What do we got? Stay on. Oh, we got our mangrove. Yeah, nice one too. Hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah. Nice. The mangrove snapper wall. The fourth in the series of the snapper slam. Get it out. There we go. That's a nice one. Bam! Snapper slam. Get that out. I was just talking to Chris from up in Broward County and we were talking about the shrimp run and I was saying I never see shrimp that are very large. But look at that dude. He's got to be like four inches long. I mean compared to my hand. Look how big he is. Golly. I think there's another one. Yeah, there goes another one there. Man, if those were abundant. Yeah, there's one there. I definitely need to do some shrimp in here. Oh, what is that? Oh, lizard fish. There's another big one. What is going on? All right, so that's the day. We got our snapper grand slam. So that's a lane snapper, mutton snapper, yellowtail snapper, mangrove snapper. So I think I covered all the bases. Uh, just as something different. Uh, this little uh, window I've got so I'm going to try to do a different style of fishing every day since trying to figure out a set pattern for anything isn't going to be worthwhile because we've got that nether front coming in on Wednesday night so I've got a couple more days try to get some more uh, fish on the board but uh, talking to Chris from Broward here at the landing he reminded me about the the shrimp runs so I missed the first cold front two weeks ago, and that's generally the best one. But uh, seeing those monster shrimp here, which I haven't seen before, uh, that size, so I'm pretty shocked at that. So I might need to do a uh, late night uh, shrimp run and uh, see if I can fill up a bucket or bags or something. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.